And next up, Scott here. And today we're going to be doing a film breakdown on French Wing, Zachary Rizache. So Zachary Rizache is very interesting because last year he fell super low in uh, draft and mock drafts. Um, like at first, I'm pretty sure he was like the number one prospect. Then he got pushed all the way down to like 20s. But now he's back up to that top five pick um, projection. And that's mainly due to how good he's been playing for uh, this team. So we're going to jump into the film. So something that has very popped out of me, especially in this specific game right here, is the passing. The passing looked really good because you see right here, he drives, sees the help, ends up kicking it out to a corner. Good pass, good shot. Now right here, good rejection on the screen, keeps his dribble, keeps his pace. Sees this defender tag the uh, tag the big man, makes the pass to the top of the key, good shot. Right here, again, this is what he'll mainly be doing on offense, though, is catching and shooting the ball because he is a knockdown shooter. You can't leave him open. <laughs> um, The handle is very uh, questionable, as you see right, right here. Uh, just when you, especially with young players, when you see players losing the ball in traffic, that's how you could probably tell that their handle isn't that nice. Which is okay. He doesn't need to be a handle type of guy. He he could definitely be like a secondary type of playmaker. Um, I like the finish right here because again, he's not super athletic. He's not super fast. He doesn't get super low on any drives. But the fact that he's just able to use a little bit of craft, get that layup up, is nice. Now defensively, I really like this play because he was able to. See how far he is. He slips. And he, at this point, he's dumb far from uh, his offensive player. So, he's able to recover, get all the way back into the play, and make it so he can't shoot that jump shot. Which a lot of people, people uh, players aren't doing. Um, I think he's about like 6'8". 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, 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 so, he has really good length. And again, he's a knockdown shooter. I love how, actually, I love how he shoots. But one thing, one really big question mark is his defense against guards, specifically super fast guards. I'm pretty sure the player he's guarding is Juan Nunez. I'm pretty, I think that's his name. And he's super fast, as you see. Absolutely burns him. Able to get in front of him for the easy layup. But you see when he's playing someone who isn't as fast, he just kind of sits on him. Doesn't really give him any space to drive and force him into a super tough shot. Good finish right there by him. Um, Again, if he could do stuff like this where he, he kind of doesn't give them enough space to feel comfortable to drive and makes them shoot that pull-up jump shot, I feel like he maybe then could guard point guards, but I don't know. Again, can't leave him open like this play right here because once they get into the paint, he immediately stays vertical, doesn't lean into him, ends up getting a block, just end up turning the door right back. Now, right here is a concern because you see him catch the ball and he doesn't, he just kind of passes it. He doesn't really read what's happening because the right play right here will probably just be to take it by yourself because if you see him running, or you see him cutting this way, then again his that his defender's back was turned, so he could have easily went up for a layup. <laughs> but again, he also makes these type of passes, which are very good passes. You see, sees number thirty five kind of in between, so he looks at number one, and then passes to number twenty. Good pass, good shot. Um, again, the handle is very questionable, as you see right here. Catches the ball, one dribble, gets cut off, tries to bring it back the other way, loses the ball easily. Um, 
Now he's not really he's not gonna be able to guard bigs. As you see, he just gets fried. So the post defense is very questionable. Do again, the jump shot looks nice. He isn't gonna always be a knockdown shooter. I like the def or I kinda like the defense right here, but again, the recovery is what he needs to work on because you can't allow someone shorter than you or not shorter than you. You can't allow fat players faster than you and get low and really swipe that arm down. Because once he swipes that arm down, it's a wide open layup and it ends up in an and one. But right here, I like the defense because because what what this play shows me is that he has the defensive instincts. He absolutely blows up this screen and um should have been a turnover, but it is what it is. So I feel like he has the potential to be a very good defender. He just has to work on his recovery skills and his just and just his speed in general. Because he has the length. He's like 6'8". He has a pretty long wingspan. And he has the um, ability to be a very good defensive uh, player. Um, the finishing is a question mark. As you see right here, just doesn't really get high up off the ground. And he kind of just throws it off the backboard. I do like the pass right here. Just be able to stay composed, make that pass on point. Good pass, knock down. Um, I do like kind of like this drive because I like how he just kind of took it up over the smaller defender, just couldn't get it knocked down at first, but able to follow his own rebound. Now the mid range is a really good spot in his game when he's able to. Make that one little jab step because again he's gonna get be getting hard closeouts because he is a shooter. So when he's able to make that jab step, shift to the finish body weight and then take this one drill pull up, he's gonna be very good at at uh, doing that. Again, like the patience he's ha he has, just able to stay patient, stay patient, stay patient, make the pass, and able to get a hockey assist right here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Again, the instincts are there. He's a very good off ball defender. And I do like the take, but again, the finishing is a question mark. He has. I love the defense right here. I love how you see it when he does guard these slower defenders. He's able to make a very good closeout, cut him off uh, the baseline, and just good defense all around. Again, good defense, able to put pressure on the ball, ends up in a turnover. Um, this would have been good defense, but then he kind of just, like, put his arm right here and just not a good, like, way to contest the shot. He wasn't able to get in front of him. Uh, again, as you see, just the finishing is just not that good right now. He doesn't have really good touch around the basket, which is a, which it does bring up a question mark with his shooting. But I don't think those two things really will really affect each other. I feel like he's just not a good finisher. Um, like I said, or I don't think I said this already, but he does have a little tendency to close out too strong, and that ends up in uh, following jump shooters, which is terrible. And when he does make these. When he's able to make these just clean drives, no real help, he is really good at just kicking it out to the wide open shooter, even though he should have shot that. And again, like I said, he's good at making these, um, oh, you're going to close out too strong. I'm just going to take this one dribble this way. Good pull up. He does seem like a pretty decent pull up shooter. Again, just not athletic, not that good of a finisher. Ends up getting absolutely boxed right there. I do like the how he stays vertical and actually challenges it, challenges it, challenges this dunk. But uh, good defense right there. Again, knockdown shooter. Always gonna be a knockdown shooter. And again, when he's able to make these, make these uh, easy. No help drives, and 
he's great at making these kickouts. He sees 25 is super is digging super deep, makes that pass, ends up getting the hockey assist. Uh, right here, you see him absolutely chase down this defender off this uh, little pin down screen he gets, chases him off it, is able to get a hand on it, just absolutely blows up that play, doesn't allow it to happen. And he's a very unselfish player as well, as you see. Makes that extra pass. Uh, really could have shot this. Definitely could have shot this. But ends up making that extra pass for a knockdown shot. And all basketball players know, once you make that extra pass, it's basically guaranteed to go in. Um, now, cutting wise, he is a pretty good, he's a pretty decent cutter, I'd say. Uh, seeing as how good if he sh he's a shooter. Uh, seeing how good he, he is as a shooter. A lot of people are not going to help off him too much, so that could lead to some easy backdoor cuts, easy layup. So, Zachariah Rigache has been very impressive these past couple games. So, I feel like he'll probably be a top five pick. Um, it just depends on where he goes. I really feel like he could fit anywhere because everyone could use a 6'8 shooter who can play good defense. Everyone can use that. So, yeah. For come for Zachariah Ricochet, it's Mikael Brown Jr.'s. I said Mikael Brown Jr. My fault. Mikael Bridges, specifically Mikael Bridges on the Sun Suns because um he didn't really have the self creation that he did now. He was more of a catch and shoot uh player, catch rip through the lane, get an easy layup, one of those type of players. Um, but he still was a great defensive player, and Still, he um, from what I remember, faster guards did give him some problems back then, um, especially in those um, first couple seasons. So I feel like these two play very similarly because they both have about the same build, like super lanky six eight wings who can shoot the ball well. So yeah, my play person for Zachariah Bridges is Mikael Bridges. Video guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If there's any other players you want me to break down, put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if no one told you today, I love you, but God loves you more. Stay blessed.